Hey everyone, Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com. Last week's video I put up and I talked about how a 50 millimeter prime lens is not a portrait lens and I don't call it a portrait lens because it does not produce great images throughout its entire uh, focal length from real close headshots all the way through to um, full length body shots and farther because you get that extra distortion when using the um, when shooting a headshot because you're so close okay along those same lines everyone seemed to think for some odd reason that when you're shooting a crop sensor or a smaller sensor a 1.5 which is Nikon standard the DX or 1.6 I think Canon has another one in there somewhere that it automatically made that lens longer and your lenses are magically a longer lens instead of having say a 200 millimeter lens it's now a 300 millimeter lens just because you have it on a smaller body well this video is going to dispel that myth and show you that that is not the case what I have here are two photographs taken with my Nikon D3S one of them was shot in the DX mode all right, with my 24 to 70 lens, same exact setting, same everything on a tripod. One of them was shot with the normal FX mode, which is full frame. One of them shot was shot in DX mode, which is cropping it just like you would have with a smaller sensor camera. D7000, um, you know, any of the smaller D5100, 3100, any of those other Nikons, it would be basically the same size. Obviously, the Canon one is going to be slightly different, but you get the point here. So, tell me which one of these photos was taken in with the full frame and which one of them was taken with DX. And you cannot tell me the difference. Here is one of them and here is the other. Okay, Photos are virtually identical. You'll notice the bokeh did not change. You'll notice the cropping did not change. You'll notice that nothing has changed in between these two images. Here's number one again. And number two, number one, and number two. So nothing has changed here, okay, in these two images, except for one thing. I cropped the FX version to show you that they are identical so that you could see the two. Now let me go back and let me add in this third photo, okay? Here's number one. Here's number two cropped. This is the full frame version. Number two is the full frame version cropped. And then this one is the full frame version uncropped. Okay? So now you see the difference. There is no magical, oh my lens is much longer. That's a myth. That is not the case. What is actually happening is you are required to get closer or you have to stand farther away in order to get that same bokeh, in order to get that same framing. And so everything changes when that happens. So let me go over these one more time. First image shot on DX mode. Second image shot on FX mode, then cropped to the DX frame size. And here is image number two again, but in the full frame showing the entire image. So, please, hopefully you understand, um, think about this, let it kind of sink in a little bit so that you understand how it works. Um, this dispels that myth 100% and shows you easily that no, there is no such thing as a magical making the lens longer. All right, all it's really doing is cropping. And the fact that you get that different bokeh, you get that different... Um, angle of view it's because you are moving closer or farther away versus a full frame camera in order to get that same image or the same cropping or the same uh, amount of image the same person the same headshot all that stuff that's where that difference is coming from so questions comments concerns um, you still want to argue with me I'd love to see those arguments here in the comments whether it's on the website whether it's on YouTube wherever it is uh, hopefully this clears it up for you a little bit. Greg Cazillo, Cazillo.com. Thanks, guys. Keep shooting. See ya.